Hey, and what is up, y'all? Sorry for being tardy to the party, um, but I have an update review for y'all. Now, I know it's been a while since I've posted. I'm so sorry. Christmas has been kind of busy, got a bigger family, and so I've had about 10 Christmases around there. But anyways, enough about uh, me and my chaotic Christmases. They weren't really chaotic. They were actually quite enjoyable. In fact, I hope y'all had a very Merry Christmas, and I hope y'all got what y'all wanted. Um, and let me know in the comments what your favorite gift was. I'm interested to see what y'all got. And as always, if you like the videos, please consider liking and subscribing, and comment down below what you want me to do next. I'm always looking at y'all's suggestions, and always wondering uh, what y'all's ideas are. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the full in-depth update review. Also, yes, I did change my character. I did a poll whether I should keep the beard. Um, and 58% of you said yes, I think. Hold on, let me check that. Okay, so this story has been up for 16 hours now. Uh, one was I should not keep the beard, and two, I should keep the beard. 43% of you said I should not keep the beard, and 57% of you said uh, to do so. So 45 voted no, and 60 voted yes, so we're going with the beard. Thank y'all for helping me make life decisions that I could probably make on my own. I just don't feel confident in my ability to do so. Anyways, update review. Alrighty, so um, there is new dealership Christmas music as you can hear right now. Just take a listen. Pretty sweet, right? But for right now, we're gonna turn off the volume. That way you can hear my beautiful voice. Okay, let's go over the cars. So these are a couple of the cars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name the ones that I bought. So I bought a 1966 Falcon Stallion. I bought that one. I'm gonna get this one eventually but it's $2 million, and I don't have that just yet. I did have uh, this truck. They finally added the uh, 2013 Bronson. I had bought this trim, but the problem is the rims glitch, and so when you go to put rims on it, it just doesn't look as good. So I kind of just sold it. Hopefully, they'll fix it soon. I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see. And then one of my favorites, I did buy the... Let me see here. Did I buy the limited? No, I did not buy the limited. I bought the King Ranch. Uh, I bought... I think I bought the Platinum. I'm not really sure. I, I forgot. And this King Ranch is my favorite vehicle that was added in-game. And I think that's everything I got from this update. Well, there's a couple more things. Let's see here. The new Range Rovers are here. They look absolutely amazing. I did buy the uh, 2022 Falcon Advance SSV WSP uh, and the Plow Truck, which is actually really, really cool. I bought... I think I bought... This... This one. I bought this one. Uh, I'm probably going to change it to black, though, and stuff, because, you know, it's going to be blacked out. Eventually, I'll get this. I, it's just not something I want right now, but I will eventually get it. The uh, National GT. I did buy these. There's there's four limiteds, I believe. It's the 2023 Wolfsburg uh, GT Sportsback right here, and then the 2023 Falcon Advance Beast Roar. Baja, ba Baja, and then the 6x6 of this truck, basically, and then this ridiculously good-looking car that costs too much money. I will eventually buy this car, but I'm kind of, I'm wanting to save up for some other things. I think my main goal is to save up for this car right here. And yeah, so those are all the cars that were added. I think there was... Let me see here. 
Why did I not look at the update log? Here, I'll read the update log for you right here. Okay, let me just bring this right over. Oh. Anyways, we're not we're gonna ignore that. Alright, so here is version V1 2700. Our holiday sales has started this year. Enjoy 10% off of all game passes and in-game cash purchases until 12 slash 29. So it is currently the 26th. So y'all go over, buy what you need because it is 10% off. Now, something really cool they did, they added new interactive taxi driver jobs, uh, claim calls for picking up customers at their location. Once you pick them up, you can, you can take them to their desired location. You'll get paid the amount that is, that it states in the call menu for the call claimed if completed. Includes five new taxis to drive with the job. Then there was a new school added, replacing the old high school with a new one, including new buses to go along with the bus driver job selected. There's also like little cahoots that go on inside the school, so that's pretty cool. Snow has already started falling, but it did start. Uh, snow will start falling at December 24th, 2022 at 2 p.m., your location, local time zone, be sure to enjoy an experience for the snowfall. That's already happened, so that's not really important anymore. Christmas decorations is now added around the map, including the dealership and the lake specifically. Christmas decor at houses, this includes Christmas-themed lawn decor. Christmas winter-themed music is now in the dealership menu. Christmas radio station has been added for a short time. Christmas decor will last a few days past Christmas. Added 40 cars, this includes uh, the new snowplow DOT truck, includes four limited cars, all in which go off sale on the 29th, and the this car goes off December 20, uh, 31st. Added a new tree farm where the pumpkin patch resided. Added two new houses uh, around the map. More storage pass owners can now store up to 45 cars, which is absolutely nuts. Low fuel to now... Uh, low fuel is now alerted in dynamic gauges. Dealership music is now troggable in settings. Flatbed tow truck is now fixed. So the tow truck is now fixed. Exhaust smoke is now more extremely shown due to the colder temperatures. So that's what was added. That was added and then do expect occasional shutdowns throughout the day. And then they fixed a few bugs with, uh, snow when snow falls, the taxi job, and they removed guns at the school, which is actually good because that way we can't have, we, we just cannot have those type of role plays, uh, in the game. It's just not acceptable. Personally, I don't want, I, I'm glad they actually did this. I'm really glad they did that. Okay. So those are all the cars. Then I bought the, DOT plow truck. So let me show you how this works. Get in. So we all know in to turn it on um right all right so now we're gonna do f to turn on the lights that's how you turn on the lights then right here is the salt um so the salt will pour out just press salt again and it'll stop to move the plow to actually get to work right oh what am i doing anyways to get to work right uh you have this little thing right here lifts up lifts down uh and if you want it center you just press the thing in the middle and then let's go ahead and listen to this new um radio station Alrighty, now let's go look at these two new houses as my truck runs away from me. We're going to take my beloved King Ranch to take our happy, happy, merry selves over there. Uh -huh. 
so one thing that you might notice also is now the waters are the waters the body of water around the map is now ice the roads are a little bit slick your truck and cars do get dirty in the snow um there's also snowfall that comes around every now and again so the two new houses are right over here so we're going to tour both of them and then we'll go look at the new school okay so here is house number one this is what it looks like it's got a halfway wraparound porch with lawn decor um and a separate garage so let's just you can go down the porch oh pretty cool i like this uh oh god I think this moves. No, it doesn't. Okay, whatever. Okay, now we're back at the front door. Got a cool little reef. Pretty nice, right? And then here is the, I'm going to guess, the main living room. Got the TV. Here we got the office. Pretty nice. Here we have a half bathroom. Dining room, uh, big enough for the entire family. Under the stairs, storage. And then here is the other bedroom. Here is the, oh, okay. My mouse is being very sensitive. Here is the, good God. Here is the new kitchen. Pretty nice. Here we have the formal living room with the fireplace. No TVs or anything like that. Uh, pretty cool. So that's the downstairs, the upstairs. Uh, bedroom. Bedroom. Full bathroom. Laundry room. This house is huge. Master bedroom, I'm going to assume. Huge closet, and then obviously a master bathroom, and then a little pool table here for everyone to enjoy. Now, I think this house has two uh, master bedrooms. Let me see. No, I want to sit down. Yes, it does. It does. So that's pretty cool, actually. And then, as always, uh, with this new winter update, um, you can now change the lights. I personally like these Christmas lights. They're pretty nice. So let's go look at this other house. Personally, this one's my favorite. Okay, so here is this house. It's the same thing, only it does not have the wraparound porch, and it has this little window. Same thing with the garage. Um, so let's go take a look. So for the bottom, it has the same layout. Uh, for the bottom, I believe. Yes, it does. Um, but upstairs, you can tell the difference. Uh, oh, God. Um, goodness. Sorry, y'all. Uh, full bathroom, so this is like a guest master bedroom. Here is another bedroom. A full bathroom. The laundry room. And then the actual master bedroom. Uh, with a big closet as well. So those are the two houses. Pretty nice. Also has a little back porch area. Personally, I like the other house more, but this one is not that bad. It's really not. And these houses are scattered around the map, so don't worry. There's not just two of them. There's other houses like it, too. Um, let me take you to the lake real quick, and then we'll go look at the other school. Okay, so here is the lake. Cool little decorations all around the map. Really, really cool. They went all out, and these do light up at night. So, you got all the same things that you've been able to do. There's skating, um, and then there's the Christmas tree, there's Christmas music, and just a bunch of little uh, cabins, I'm assuming, to rent other things, and just 
Christmas decorations all around. The lake is ice, so you can, like, go drifting on it and stuff. I've done it a couple times. It's really fun. Just, yeah. It, it's not fun when you glitch the server, though. Not speaking from personal experience. Okay, so now with the thing with bus drivers, now you can, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's what we're doing today. Uh, there's different school buses. Let me see, school bus driver. Select. And, okay, I just got ran over by my own truck. Anyways, um, so there's two, uh, gas buses. There's a short version. And then there's a longer version, which is massive. And then there's a electric version. Um which I don't like electric vehicles. But anyways, just a quick... Oh, God. Okay. Yep. School's canceled, kids. Okay. Alrighty. Yep, we're doing this today, aren't we? Anyways, so G is to have the yellow flashers and then do G again, and that pulls out the stop, uh, stop sign, the red lights, and then this little thing. Press G again. You're done. Everything else is normal. I'm turning on the truck with F. And then uh, I'm not really sure how it works on mobile. So I will, I might make a video on my mobile phone later of over the update, maybe. Uh, but we all know content on my phone does not come out as good as content on here. So we'll see. I'm actually going to drive the short bus because I've never driven the short bus. And I'm going to drive to the school. Also, one thing I forgot to show y'all. I can't remember what it was, but one of these in turns on this little white light right here. So that's another cool feature. This is actually a neat school bus. I really like the short one. The long one is just so hard to turn and so hard to s stop. Okay, so the uh, old school bus, or the old school has been replaced with the new school. Uh, very much deserved with it, too. I love the new school. Um, now, let, I'm just going to go give you a full tour of this thing because, um, you know, it's a it's a new place. Oops. Yeah, I think I'll get my school bus license driving like this. Looks pretty cool. You're fired! Okay, so you walk in, immediately enter with a whole new feel. Uh, welcome to Greenville School. Got their mascot, Go Polar Bears. So this is the cafeteria right here. If you walk through these doors right here, uh, it takes you into the gymnasium which is pretty cool. I don't think you can go through here. You can go through here. This leads out to the hallway. Same with that door. And then those two doors right here are the locker rooms, which I'll go and show you later. And then there's doors on either side over there for y'all to enter the school with. Now, there are bathrooms right here, men and women's bathrooms. You can't actually go inside them, uh, which is kind of sad, but, you know, I think it's because, you know. Um, anyways, so then here's the kitchen. Got the deep freezer right here. This is where they make all the food to poison you and make you sick. That way you don't have to come to school no more. Uh, it feels like an actual school. Then we have stairs leading to the second story, an exit, another bathroom, which you can actually go inside. Uh... And then a women's bathroom. I'm not, I know I'm not supposed to be in here, but I'm doing it for a tour, guys. Classrooms look so much better. And then there's actual cahoots that go on uh, with some of these uh, things here. Let me try to find one. Yeah, so basically you need five players. You cannot have four. I don't know why. Um, it says four players, but... You really need five. And then it does a little kahoot over the uh, the uh, subject in which the classroom is at. So, like, for math, it'd be a math kahoot. And so, yeah. So, the science, 
There's that. Alright, so let's go up the stairs, right? We're gonna go up the stairs. And then this is where it gets weird, because there's two math classrooms. Uh, science classroom, U.S. History. I love U.S. History. IRL. I love history. So they actually have the teacher's lounge, lounge up here. And then, like, the principal's office and stuff is up here, too. Uh, which usually, like, in my school, it's all downstairs. But my school is also one story. So, you know. Detention. Uh, looks very depressing. Uh, people have been drawing on stuff. Principal's office. Pretty cool. Got a polar bear there. Uh, vice principal's office. I wonder if they have a counselor's office. They got another uh, detention room. And yeah, this school is massive. Now we all know that this... Oh god, lord of mercy. We all know the nurse is out, so... Uh, our, at least at my school, my nurses are always there, uh, because, you know, they have to, but I know at some other schools, like, the nurse is always gone. So when someone has a heart attack and a kid dies, uh, sue the school, I guess. Then there's more classrooms and more offices down there, and then stairs. So then, uh, that's where the cafeteria is. If you come down here, there's more teacher's lounges, more uh, classrooms, uh, so that's pretty cool. There's another exit right over there. Now, if you come over here, here is the library. Uh, looks absolutely insane. If you remember the other library, it was very depressing, barely any books. I think, like, one shelf had books. I think. So, yeah pretty depressing. Anyways, and then we got music class, uh, which I assume y'all can sing. Uh, so that was 2018. That's crazy. Um, the gymnasium again. Music. Music again. Only, I think this is... No. Yeah. I wonder, do they have a band hole? Oh, yes. So, um, locker rooms. There are now locker rooms uh, for players and stuff. So, the, here's the men's locker room. Has all the lockers. There's showers and stuff in here. Pretty cool. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to be in here, but I'm just doing it for a tour. There's the girls' locker room. And then... Back down here. What's down here? Art. So there's art. There's an ugly Honda Ridgeline here. Ugly Honda Ridgeline. Ugh. Yucky. I hate Honda Ridgelines. There's another art. With more cars that I don't like. And yeah, that's basically the entire school. So huge upgrade. They did a really good job on making a new school. Uh, pretty, pretty cool, in my opinion. So good job on the devs for doing an amazing job on the brand new school. It's absolutely amazing. Now, with this new taxi job, uh, basically, you just become a taxi driver taxi driver. Alrighty, and then there's their own building for taxis and stuff. I tried using my normal vehicles. It will not let you get a job. So, then there's calls right here. Uh, when there's a call, you accept it. It gives you a price of what you'll get uh, when you complete the job. And it tells you where to go, so it's not... You don't have to know the map. It'll literally pinpoint where the location is. And then here are all the new taxis that came to game. Pretty cool. Uh, I personally like the RAV4, so that's pretty nice. What else did they add? Let me see here on my Discord real quick. Uh, Snowfall, we already talked about that. New vehicles, we talked about that. New school talked about that they fixed the tow trucks so that's pretty cool um i th think that's 
everything. Well, y'all, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I really hope you did enjoy this video. It took me forever to f actually get to this, so I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully, you got everything you wanted. Anyways, y'all, I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Hopefully, you had a great time with family. Uh, and I hope the best for everyone this Christmas season. Stay safe out on the roads, especially if you live in Ohio. Uh, because Ohio is just wild at this point right now. It's just crazy. Anyways, uh, for real though, be careful on the roads. I know there's, uh, some storms going around with a bunch of snow. So, personally, where I live, there, we don't really get snow. Um, so, you know, we get ice. We get lots of ice on the road, but we never really get snow. Anyways, if y'all did like the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and comment down what you want me to do next. I'm always looking at suggestions of what y'all want me to do next. I am getting ready to do my Bloxburg series. It's been something I wanted to do for a very long time. I'm not the best builder like Look.io Kaz or I.I. Zach Builds, but I'm a decent builder. So if you want me to make like houses and start doing speed builds, please let me know. Um, a video should come out tomorrow for part one of my very first and dream house that I really want, uh, real life. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do some Bloxburg videos. Some people are wanting me to do a few car, other car games other than just Greenville. Um, this channel is mainly Roblox, but it's been a lot of Greenville. So I apologize on that. It's just easier to make videos over a game that I've been playing forever. And with, with, um, with Bloxburg, it just, it's a lot of me being silent and building. So we'll see how it goes. New Bloxburg series coming very soon, uh, with brand new houses and how to's. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, um, as I was saying, y'all have a great day. Be safe on the road. Merry Christmas. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.